We're going to take a look at the leather lever wrap from D4 Guns. So what this lever wrap actually is, is a piece of leather that can go right here on the lever of any lever gun. The reason for that being so that your knuckles are going up against leather instead of this metal thing right here. You can also kind of personalize your lever gun a little bit and make it look a bit more unique. So we're gonna take a look at what's all inside this package here and we're gonna see if we can get it installed on this guy. Now what all comes in here, we have an instruction card, our actual leather wraps, which these come with two. They can be different colors depending on which ones you buy. You get two needles to help you actually sew it on there and some deer sinew string. It's interesting that it comes with this deer sinew stream. I assumed it was some sort of, uh, you know, synthetic uh, nylon type thing in there that you usually see, but kind of comes with this old style material here, which is really nice if you want to get that old look to it. I chose um, a dark brown and a black. The dark brown Seems like it may be just a bit thicker than the black. So the first thing we'll have to do is flip this over. Well, first of all, we'll take our deer sinew string, which just, just feels a little oily. It's kind of interesting. Going to want to put a needle on either side of this string and just do a basic overhand knot. And then we put our needle on the other end. Actually, it's probably going to be easier to do this first that through here. These are big holes in here, so that helps out. I actually can sew, just not horribly well, but I can. And you kind of want to just pull these even. And we're gonna lace it just pretty much like you lace up a shoe or a boot. And this is gonna go over, and you wanna have the laces on the bottom of the um, lever here, not on the top. So, let's see what this does here. And then whichever direction you start, you want to keep the same pattern going. So, start it off going that way there. So, we'll have to continue that pattern now. As we do it here, you can see this really tightening up good on it. Guess the first piece of advice I've got for anyone doing this is just don't be afraid to like over pull on this um, sinew string. This stuff is really just very, very strong, like stronger than you would imagine. Okay, now once we get this here, it says just to do a double overhand on it. Just gonna be through once, and then just do a second time. It feels nice there. What I'll do is I'll just make sure this knot holds. I'm going to leave that for a bit and watch it. And once I'm sure this knot is good, um, I'll go ahead and cut those off. Because um, at this point I can still uh, clip it and uh, redo those. So I've got my Antique 73 here. Um, I wasn't sure that I was going to put one on this initially, but... I think I'm going to because I like the look of it there. And once again, as I've discovered with these, just really go ahead and tighten the snot out of these. What I found partway through the first one there is you pull that down, you get this sinew here, you keep pressure on that when you pull this one through. Then you can pull that one and just pull on both of them. I've also found if you can pull on the string itself and not on the needle, your knot is a lot less likely to come undone. There's some of these that are made for specific models. These are just kind of universal. Do the one quick overhand. This is what I found. A little different than what their instructions are. I did a single overhand. And then... I did a 
double overhand. All right, and once again, we'll just make sure that uh, this nut stays before I tie it off, because once I cut this short here, I'm not going to be able to retie that thing. Um, and yeah, this guy too. I can definitely look at both of the rifles here and tell that the uh, lever on the old 73 is definitely uh, thicker and wider than the one on the 94. It completely covers up the 94 on the bottom on underneath and it doesn't quite do that on the 73s. So after getting these on and taking a look at them I decided not to keep one on the old uh, 1873 because it just really didn't wrap around the lever properly the whole way. I also decided I wanted brown on my 92 so I went ahead and put the brown one on here and yeah I think I'm pretty happy with how that looks on there it does feel nice in there with it and we'll see how long it holds up but so far I definitely like the look of the lever wrap if you found this video useful be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like you can go down into the comment section and leave any thoughts you have down there and if you're interested you can also subscribe to my channel and click the little bell notification to make sure that you catch all the videos that i post so you don't miss anything i'm jeremy with poindexter g and we'll see you next time